weight into the right side. Take an empty left step. The toe goes down first. Bring the right toe around. Arm movements of the beginning posture. Turn out the right toe to a 90 degree angle. Right arm floats up to ward off right. Drop all the weight into the right foot. Step forward with the left. Ward off left. Pick up the right heel. Pivot to the side. Step out to grasp the sparrow's tail. Shift the weight back. Turn from the waist, allowing the arms to follow to roll back. Then press. Withdraw. Advance. Leaving the arms extended. Shift the weight back. Pick up the right toe. Pivot to the side. Bring the weight to the right. Hold that ball. Flip it using the back. Hook the right hand. Drop the wrist. And step behind into bow and arrow stance and single whip. Leaving the weight on the left, pick the right heel up, draw it in, lifting hands. Bring the right foot in to close, then gently arc it around. Shift the weight into the right to shoulder strike. Drop the weight into the right foot. Left toe taps down, white crane spreads its wings. Turn from the waist, step out with the left, brush left knee and twist. Draw the right foot a half a step up, trying not to stand up. Sit back on the right, play guitar. Turn from the waist again, step out with the left. Brush left knee and twist. Shifting the weight back, turning out the left toe. Bringing the right foot forward or up to that level. Deflect downward on the right by opening from the right side. Drop the weight into the right. Step forward with the left to intercept and punch, withdraw, advance, shift the weight back, pick up the left toe, turn to the front, bring the right foot back, shift the weight right, bringing the left toe around, crossing hands, shift the weight to the left, step behind into bow and arrow stance, and embrace the tiger, return to mountain, become grasp the sparrow's tail, Roll back, press, withdraw, and advance, leaving the arms extended. We transition to the diagonal single whip. We shift the weight back to the right foot, turn out the left toe, bring the right foot up, shift your weight to the right side, sweeping the back with the back of the left hand and fist under elbow. Step back with the left so the right foot arm comes forward, repulse the monkey on the right. Step back with the right, repulse the monkey on the left. Step back with the left to repulse the monkey on the right. Still holding a large ball, drop the right hand down, left hand up. Step to the front and bow and arrow stance and diagonal flying, letting the hand separate. Right hand rises, left hand down. Bring the left foot up and carry a large ball to wave hands like clouds, bringing the right foot into close when the ball is on the left, stepping out with the left, close, step out, and close. That was three times. Step out. This time, step to the front. Get ready for a single whip. Step behind, single whip, draw the right hand and left hand together, weight stays on the right and the snake creeps downward, keeping the weight on the right, then shift into the left, bring the right foot up and golden pheasant stands on the left leg, shift the weight slowly into the right side to allow the left leg to come up, golden pheasant stands on the right, left leg comes down, Arms loosely cross in front, weights on the left, separate the right foot, sink the weight into the right, separate left. From here, arms rounded in front, a 180 turn, and then gently kick with the left sole. Let the left foot come down, that becomes a brush left knee and twist. Shift the weight back, turn out the left toe, 
Shift the weight up to the left. Step forward with the right to brush right knee and twist. Shift the weight back. Turn out the toe. Step forward with the left to punch downward. Gently with the right. Shift the weight back. Turn out the toe. Step forward again with the right to grasp the sparrow's tail. Roll back. Press. Withdraw. Advance. Then another single whip. Four corners. We shift the weight back. Bring the left toe around. Bring the right foot back. Step towards the first corner with the left. And push with the left hand. Parry with the right. Then pick that left toe up. Bring it around. Step all the way behind with the right. And push with the right. Parry with the left. The weight's on the left. So we bring that right foot in. Step to the third corner. Push with the left. Carry with the right, pick that toe up, bring it around, step towards the fourth and last corner with the right, push, and carry. The weight now on the left, so I bring the right toe around, shift my weight over to the right, step forward with the left, and ward off left. Then I pick my right heel up, turn to the side, step out to grasp the sparrow's tail, roll back, Press, withdraw, and advance. Another single whip. The snake creeps down, drawing the hands together. Left foot goes out, the weight's on the right. Shift the weight into the left. Right toe taps down, hands are loosely fisted, form the seven stars of the dipper. Side step, drop the weight into the right, ride the tiger. Then extend behind with the left, left arms in front, left leg is behind. A gentle 360, sweep the lotus kick. For now, we'll just use the hands. Now the weight's back on the left, we step out with the right foot. Bend the bow to shoot the tiger. Bring the right foot in to flex downward. Step forward with the left to intercept and punch. Withdraw. Advance. Shift the weight back. Pick up the left toe. Pivot to the front. Step back with the right. Again, bringing the left toe around and crossing hands or final conclusion. And that is the entirety of the Young 37 posture short form.